luckily we got it now. Like Isai from Sono Mercy, what a great guy who finally made this happen. And he's been asking a few years to do this. And now when we had had the 70,000 tons of metal cruise and Colombia and Costa Rica, now it makes sense to do the, all this at the same time because Mexico is quite far away from this place, Finland. It, it's it's wiser to do a lot at the same time. But now we are doing it and I'm really happy that we are also playing more than Mexico City. So it's the five days visiting awesome places like Guadalajara. And I expect none less from the fans and crowds than in Mexico City 2017. So, mm -hmm. so it's well, been a long journey, but finally we are doing we are doing also other cities than Mexico City. So awesome i think like it was the for mo for me personally it was the reaction of the people who came to the show like it was i felt really welcome and and we are as a band we are quite active on stage we like to run around and 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 like like to cheer people up to 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 feel the the feel the energy that we have on stage to 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 give that energy also to the crowds and they really seem to to love it and and get into the mood so that was the best uh, like experience for me at least and it's all always amazing and we are feeling to go new places like then 2017 when we first played in mexico and then you don't know what to expect because it's another side of the world. And then when there's people who actually know your band and ha is having your band shirts and CDs and vinyls to sign and so interest to you, it's always great. And we are feeling like the world in the end world is such a small, small place that it's the same kind of stuff everywhere. It doesn't matter where. Like now we are going to never been in Leon. Probably there will be a lot of OG fans, or maybe not, I don't know, but hopefully there will be, and it's always a magical experience to see, like, what the fuck these people know us. <laughs> Circo Volador show, we had, I think, a meet and greet, and it was like mayhem, so much people coming there, and so enthusiastic, so I, we, I we to cheer up people, <laughs> more so. We were so sad that we made our happiest album ever. That's how human mind works. If if there's too much sadness, then you fight it with joy. And yeah. why if if there's too much happy people surrounded, then you make a miserable album. We like to work as a paradox. Yeah, I think it was a it was a good thing because you know when the pandemic hit people globally, it was like uh bring some good melodies and stuff like that into that concoction i think it's 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 all worthwhile and of course it was not so like intentional now that the pandemic is going on now we're gonna make this kind of album no no it didn't go like that at all but it, it, it kind of just appeared so and if people got some good vibes out of it then it's say okay we released a slasher ep like uh, last summer which was a four song EP. So it was like a middle work and some kind of taster and pathway to the future. So slowly we are working with new stuff. It's been a whole lot of touring after the pandemic when the world opened. And it, it's basically all our time have gone to touring for the past two years. But after this spring, after the Latin American tour and North American tour, then I think we're going to take a bit hiatus on concentrating to writing new music only. And I don't think it's going to be that happy anymore because we are getting older and more miserable. <laughs> the happy yeah. days are... We have to I, I, was, I was 30 in my 30s when Origin was composed and now I'm 40. So <laughs> <laughs> things have happened. Yeah. But it's gonna be some quality stuff, anyways. I'm sorry, I have to, I have to restrict my cat 
to do some bad things around the house. So that's why I'm, <laughs> I'm disappearing from the screen from now and then. Sorry, guys. But I think like uh, there's always a process of new material going on, like here, in a sense. It's, uh, it's always you don't think about it constantly, but, but still it's something that is in the back of your mind all the time because <laughs> one knows that the day will come when you ha have to deliver so 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 the process is it's just continuing so oh, we are making new stuff like an ever flowing stream yes i think you have yeah. to have a certain kind of courage to 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 respect the sound that you already have and then have the courage to to move it forward also a bit like and as, OG. and as you said like a well-established mm -hmm. band we are old enough so we kind of have the trademark og sound and i could switch this uh, question vice versa and i would say like sometimes i feel like i made some new omnium gathering stuff and it's completely different than it used to be and then other guys are saying like yeah it's good old trademark stuff so it's also the thing like always sounding your own omnium gatherum even you try to be something else and but i think it's only a good thing so you have your identity it's every time when some omnium gatherum member is playing a mistake in in concert then we kick him out <laughs> that, that's right well what to say this band have been going on for what 25 years or so so it's quite natural that people come and go and <laughs> unfortunately it's that way but i but also, also I fortunately still... in a in a strange kind of kind of way because because we have been introduced a lot of like uh, good new people to to this group also so it's a bad and a good thing at the same time in my in my opinion it's always hard but you know that's just life and if people make these kind of decisions to to, to maybe depart we are not forcing anyone to be in this group and so so uh, and it's a really hard question in a sense and naturally if someone is leaving the band or it's it's quite wise to get the replace, replacement guy who is not worse guy guy than the old playing wise and like a as a like a chemistry wise so it's wise to get good musicians and nice guys on board and i think we've tried to do that and i feel mm -hmm. we have a really strong band of brothers at the moment in this lineup and Hopefully this stays forever. No. At least music, I is don't. A, music is not a competition, so it's not sports. Everyone can win. Yeah, that is true, but still, you know, I would still say no because you know those bands are also trying, trying their best and doing their best to to. Uh, to, to survive and, and 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 to thrive and 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 to 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 make new music so i'm wishing all the best to those guys we are doing our thing and they are doing their thing and that's the way it should be it would be so boring that, to have just like band here and there we have an, an abundance of metal acts in finland I, and i think it's a benefit for everyone if someone else sees it as a competition Competition perspective. That's all right because you know we are not afraid of little competition. That brings the uh, like, like our blood gets flowing about that. But still, we are not like you know this is this is the thing, and we're gonna beat you all. You know, of course we're gonna beat you all, but we're still nice people. So when you are trying to do your best, then you can easily beat them all. <laughs> and and we are still here. So many bands have come and go and. Even the bigger ones have been quick. Omnium Gatherum Insomnium and I am tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no promo intended. <laughs>
there you go. I think there's a lot of lot of good bands going on. So it's like you said, it's gonna be a a bit harder to to choose to choose. Like uh, there is a, uh, in my opinion, like there's this uh, like a weird band called uh, Humor Void, which is it's. It's not my kind of cup of tea musically, basically, but I like their attitude a lot. For example, that's one of the Finnish bands that I really respect their attitude and 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 and, and their uh, skill of playing also. Well, many good, many good bands like favorites have quit. Like I loved Sentenced and him was really good and like early Children of, Children of Buddha was really good in my opinion and Stone. Really good Finnish speed metal band. For the newer ones, I think Finnish Finland is having quite cool black metal thing going on, like Satanic War Hamster, Satanic War Master, and Vargrav and this kind of bands coming. But Orasi Pachusu. Orasi Pachusu, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And also we played last week and we played uh we played a couple of shows with with a couple of bands. There was a UK band called Ingestion, and there was this Finnish black metal or or like kind of like mystic metal band called Habukruun, which I didn't expect much from them. But actually, when I started to listen to their sound check and started to listen to their show while they were playing, I was like, okay, this is this is kind of all right. Like you know, really, and and for these things, sometimes I'm really. I'm the kind of person that is really hard to please. I'm usually like, you know, okay, this doesn't work because of this and this and this and this and this. And for them, I just start to listen, okay, not bad at all. So there are a lot of quality stuff in Finland in the past and at the moment also. From Havukrun, we got a comparison to Moon Sorrow. I've always liked Moon Sorrow a bit, especially their newer stuff, which is more like black metal stuff, a bit to black metal yeah warm up a sauna and drink beer that that's the best anniversary that usually does it yeah but really we 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 haven't talked about that much we, we usually don't talk about those things we just let them come and then uh take them as as they come and and of course there's gonna be a, some kind of celebration but it would be nice to play a show <laughs> Yeah, I, um, we didn't even notice that we had this 25 anniversary. It's just, we didn't pay attention to that at all. Mystic minds that only think about the music and the show, so. Usually it's better to aim your, aim your potential at the future than to remember too much yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, I, what do you prefer? Tacos. Uh, tacos or salmiakki. Tacos, I think salmiakki is good, but tacos are just like if they're made correctly, like your style. So, and surprising enough, I I've, I've had the best tacos ever in Mexico. I wonder why. That's a really that's a really easy choice because tacos that's real food. Salmiakki is is salmiakki. So, <laughs> salmiakki kosu, which is the booze salmiakki liqueur but that's also for yeah that, that's a teenager <laughs> booze drink in yeah. finland back in the day I mean, we used to go there, yeah back in the day we used to go to the cinema watch a movie and take some couple of liters of salmiakki kosu there and <laughs> get fucking drunk during the movie <laughs> yeah. but that was like 20 or over 20 years ago it was called uh, vodka of black vomit yeah <laughs>